Happy New Year all. Uh, today I thought we would have a look at something new which is the KISS Ultra Mini and if you've seen the previous videos you will know that KISS Ultra is Alexander Federoff's take on KISS V2 um, so we've got a new flight controller and obviously updated firmware and the KISS V2 board like so is really really popular and now we've got a super tiny version of it which you can fit in pretty much any quad you like like so so if we just take a closer look at this guy so I've slapped mine in a Diatom Rona Roma F4 which I've customized um, it's running the DJI system with the new Cadex Nebula Pro and this spare wire here is a 5 volt wire which I'm going to use to attach um, a Naked Hero uh, 8 I think in this case and as you can see it sits in nicely there it's a tiny little flight controller um, if you look at it next to the Diatone flight controller I've just taken out um, you can see it's pretty much smaller in every dimension uh, it is truly 20 by 20 these uh, the, the actual mounts sit proud of, of the flight controller itself and it's really simply laid out you've got your in this case crossfire receiver uh, solder points here on the other side you've got camera control etc um, and video in video out um, the little pad you see here which has been soldered to is the, is the camera control pad which is how you pick up analog current sensing and there's nothing really to the flight controller the, the actual um, pins on the plugs are all identical to the KISS Ultra full-size one so if you're confused about the layout of this just refer to the uh, wiring diagram of the full-size one but you can see on this side of the flight controller is my Cadex Vista and I've got TX and RX um, VBAT and battery ground the front on this little connector here which I think is RX3 um, I've got the TX and RX for the Matic GPS that I'm using and at the front we've got the four ESC wires um, VBAT ground um, and of course that uh, that uh, sorry current sensor wire which we can use to get full current sensing on this particular build, I'm running a 5 volt regulator separate from the flight controller and it's just basically been sandwiched underneath this uh, Vista on a couple of 5mm uh, spaces and the reason why I've, I'm happy with it like that is simply this is going to be uh, a coasting sort of long range quad, I'm not going to do anything frenetic with it so I'm not worried about that being uh, exposed. And the reason why you want to run a 5 volt regulator if you're doing anything um, additional on basically KISS full stop to be honest with you but in particular this little guy with it's only it's only got really one 5 volt pad is it's fine to run 5 volt for your receiver but I'm going to need another 5 volt for the GPS I need 5 volt for uh, the GoPro and all of those together will basically fry the regulator on this little guy or if it doesn't fry straight away it will basically shorten its life to the point that I'm throwing you know 50 euros uh, down the drain so if you're running KISS Ultra and you're running a 5 volt VTX or a 5 volt camera best advice is just to use a little uh, 5 volt regulator they're only a couple of quid uh, this one in particular is a, a Matic one but it'll just extend the life of your uh, of your flight controller the best advice to uh, the best advice when it comes to KISS uh, V2 or KISS Ultra is really just to use if you're running analog is to use a VTX which will take VBAT and ideally one that provides 5, 5 volt out for any peripherals that you're going to use your camera etc um, and that way you don't have to worry about it this uh, the, the regulator on this is really just for your receiver and nothing else uh, so keep your life easy so in terms of how it flies I mean you can see from the footage there's a little bit of vibration from this uh, camera basically because I've only used these two plastic spaces I'll just print out um, some some uh, TPU spaces which will get rid of that 
but on stock pids um, and these are the updated stock pids which I think are provided by Crunked and are pretty similar to what I use on a 5 inch rig even on this 4 inch ultra light quad on a particularly windy day sort of 18 mile an hour headwinds which tends to sort of bugger up any smooth um, footage the quad flew really really well as good as you could ask for um, on any sort of standard setup there's not nothing sort of nasty the end of rolls and flips is smooth with no particular bounce back there's not a huge amount of prop wash of course it's there if you look for it but that could be dialed out uh, just probably in this case by dropping p a point um, and, and up in i by half, uh, sorry d by half a point on roll axis um, so I'm really really chuffed with it. It opens up so many options for KISS pilots. Up until now we've we've only really had the FETEC flight controller which is has 20 by 20 mounts but is actually bigger and heavier than the KISS V2 board. Um, and although the FETEC have got the AOI board uh, which is now also available in 35 amps, I don't really feel like throwing 60 or 70 quid on a all-in-one board knowing um, I'm likely to toast it at some point so for me it's a really really good um, option this is probably going to be a temporary home for it I'm kind of curious as to see how it will do on uh, little sort of cine quads uh, possibly the Pavel 30 or some other bits and bobs that I've got floating around because um, in the past when I've sort of bodged in a KISS V2 board um, it seems to handle um, a lot of the a lot of the parameters um, really really well so yeah I mean in terms of flight controllers whether you use its bigger brother or you know you choose to go for the for the mini which I'm guessing everybody or most people will prefer um, simply because it opens up more options um, it's this is looking like a really good all-in-one solution now the OSD is is super clever if you're running analog uh, the DJI OSD has everything that you really need and on the latest updates you can move it around on the screen which is something that we haven't been able to do um, on KISS before now um, so yeah it's a pretty all-in-one solution obviously this being KISS Ultra it's got return to home on failsafe baked in and pretty much everything else you can ask for um, there's canvas mode, mode for shark bite um, and the updates just keep coming um, there's also been updates uh, there, there are also updates um, in terms of the code itself um, and even running on BL Heli S which this is I've got no complaints with the, with the way that this little quad flies my own feelings on KISS Ultra versus the FETEC flight controller really comes down to feel I think when you're running this with BL Heli 32 or BL Heli S, it's, it runs sharper um, and feels faster than what I would be, what I'm used to on FETEC ESCs and a KISS V2 flight controller. Um, it doesn't have the softness on BL Heli that um, KISS has on um, KISS ESCs or the FETEC ESC. But the fact that we can use you know, KISS with BL Heli opens up so many more options and that sort of fastness, that that sharpness is probably preferable for many pilots. Um, I'm just used to the sort of soft uh, sort of airbed feel of, of KISS in the past um, and you don't really get that so much on BL Heli ESCs and that's nothing to do with Alexander's flight controller, that's basically ESCs because this guy flies pretty much identical to uh, KISS V2 or FETEC, it just has more bells and whistles and additional things to make it uh, more tweakable I guess so you can get it flying to, um, to to the way that you want it to in a way that you possibly couldn't with, um, with KISS V2 in the past. So that's it from me. Um, as I said, flies great on stock pits. Um, I'll raise probably P a little bit on this guy um, and probably D as well, just to take out some of the uh, some some of the slight prop wash that I saw. Um, but other than that, there's not really a lot to do. It just works out of the box, which is exactly what you'd want from Kiss. Cheers, guys. Thanks. Bye bye.